Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Buenos dias, mi gente. Bienvenidos a mi canal. I'm bilingual. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, y'all. I'm Leticia, and I'm going to do another get ready video with me because today I actually have like a meeting. So I have a coffee date later. I also need to go to the health hut today to go get some more shea butters. I'm running out of perfume. Um, not necessarily perfume, but they're like roller balls. I've been trying so hard to stop using perfume because it's designed to age you. And he's a black owned businessman here in town, health hut. He makes his own shea butters too. They're like whipped shea butters. They're so delicate. And so nice so I have to go there because I'm running out of stuff so if you have not been to health Hut yet please please go um, he's black owned as well and with everything going on right now trying to promote black businesses is a must so I got to go run there and then I have to go to the store I've been avo avoiding the grocery store all week but it's a must now because now I'm out of water and I don't like drinking water from the faucet. I will if I absolutely have to, but I think it's because as Americans we're spoiled and bottled water just tastes better. It's probably in our heads, honestly. It's probably all in our heads. Oh man, but nothing defeats that first sip of coffee in the morning. So I have a lot to do today. I'm also meeting with my editor today, later, hopefully, Adriana. She also has a YouTube uh, channel on here, so um, look her up because she's pretty dope. So I just have a lot going on today, and I don't want this video to be more than 30 minutes long, but I think it's going to be just because I take forever. So we are going to start on our face. I am actually going to do a little bit more than I did in my last Get ready video with me just because I am going to be seen by people. So today I'm going to use my favorite, favorite palette and it's Dose of Colors. I love Sarayi. She is also a Latina YouTuber. So if you don't know who she is, look her up. She's pretty dope. Her name's Karen, but her YouTube channel is I love Sarayi. So I'm going to be using her palette today. She released this like years ago maybe not years but like two maybe two three summers ago she released this so i don't know if you'll be able to get it anymore you might be able to get it on dose of colors website but like all time that they don't sell it anymore but let's get started i'm gonna pray my face with my favorite you guys know i'm running out and i need to get more <clears throat> but priorities <clears throat> i have not been in the mood to go to the grocery store so i'm definitely not going to go buy makeup when I'm in quarantine. So I'm probably going to start with eyeshadow just because if there's any fallout, I can just clean it up. And by no means y'all am I, by no means am I a YouTube makeup guru, okay? Um, I, I don't know how Excuse me. I don't know how to do eyeshadow makeup. I just don't. My little sister, however, I wish my little sister would start a YouTube channel because I'm sorry, excuse me. The girl can throw down on eyeshadow looks. She can throw down. I'm by no means a professional, so don't come for me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I want to use. I'm probably going to use this. I'm probably just going to use this as like my base and then I'll put some gold on there. Normally, a lot of times too, like I'll use bronzer for like brown eyeshadows because a lot of times I'll buy eyeshadow palettes and the browns just are not, they're just not the brown that I'm looking for per se. So a lot of times I'll use bronzer, but, but I dropped my bronzer palette on the floor the other day and broke it. So now I don't have bronzer. So now I'm out of bronzer, I'm running out of primer. But at this point, it's like, mm, you're not wearing makeup anyway, so why do we need to go to the store to go buy makeup? We don't. But today, this is just gonna be... Mm, 
it's just gonna be and it's not gonna be quick but i'm not gonna sit here and spend two hours doing my eyeshadow like most women do i i don't have it in me i don't have the patience i don't have i just don't have the time coming from somebody who's has poor management time management skills i have poor time management skills i really do it's weird because like i don't like sitting here spending like a long amount of time on things like this because i have like this urgency that i need to be somewhere but then i'm always late so i don't know <laughs> i'm never on time for anything anything okay nothing in my life am i on time for you know it's mexican time we work on our own time you know they be telling you to come to the fiesta at like three o'clock but really you gotta tell everybody to be there at noon <laughs> so that they'll be there i feel like it's a culture thing like because i have so many black friends too and i feel like my black friends are like it's black people time and i'm like i feel like latino and mexicans are like that too though like in all honesty we are always late late to everything I'm just using Morphe, Morphe brushes. This is like a M167, this is just an eyeshadow brush. And I'm probably gonna put this as my, you know what? Forgot. So I like to use Morphe setting spray to make the color pop, I guess, I don't know. This is just what I do, and I'm not perfect at it at all. I'm probably really, really bad at it, <laughs> but that's okay. And honestly, I don't really wear a lot of makeup just because... I guess it's because I don't wear makeup on a regular basis that when I do all this like extra ex extravagant stuff, I don't like the way that I look with makeup on. It's almost like, with like some women, when they start like doing all this extravagant shit, it's like they morph into like this like beautiful like swan. And with me, I feel like I don't look any different. Like I don't look prettier, I don't look dramatic looking, but maybe it's because I don't know how to do dramatic looks. But a lot of times even some people that I see, it's just like, oh my God, wow. But when I put makeup on and do all this extra stuff, it's just like, oh, it's just me. <laughs> maybe that's just, that. maybe that's just me in my opinion. I don't know, but like, I don't like the way that I look with a bunch of makeup on. But that's also just because like, I'm not used to wearing a bunch of makeup anyway. So then when I have it on and I look at myself and I'm like, oh girl, what's going on? Um, I need to turn my fan on. It's hot in here. Give me just one second. Whew. Girl, it's burning up. Um, my apartment complex does not have central AC. So, it can be getting hot in here. However, I'm not complaining because I would rather be hot than cold. I know you will never hear a lot of people say that. but um yeah i don't like being cold anybody that knows me personally i do not like being cold at all okay so and i need to turn i feel like it's super bright in here it was like way too bright but you guys couldn't see that then that looks better so this is really all I'm going to do. I'm just going to fluff it. I don't know what this is called. Blending, I guess. <laughs> I'm just going to fluff that part and not make it look so harsh. This is all I'm going to do. Okay. This is it. Nothing too special. I told y'all in the last one that my channel is not going to be geared towards makeup. <clears throat> 
because I'm not a makeup guru. I'm not. Um, I probably never will be. I, I mean, even working at Ulta, you would think like, oh, let me fall in love with all this makeup. No. I cannot justify paying $45 for a foundation. I may have had a discount, but you still saw me going over to the left side where all the drugstore makeup's at because I just can't justify that. I can't justify spending money on things like that. I just can't. I really can't. I don't want to say I'm a tightwad because... I'm not, but there's just a fine line between things that you want and that you need. Makeup is not something that I need for me per se. I can't speak for everybody because I know there's women out there that are like, oh my God, makeup is my thing. It is my world. And that's fine. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not shunning you for it, but for me, nah, baby, I love clothes. <laughs> I love, I will, I will spend a rack on some clothes and that's what my channel is mainly going to be about because I can put an outfit together. I really can. I have been out in the sun like nobody's business. So like in my last video, I landscaped for three days and then I have been outside pretty much all weekend, all week, um, just because I have been at the protests downtown. So, touchy subject, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. Um, the protests have now gone worldwide. At first, it was just a nation thing, but as of yesterday or two days ago, I believe New Zealand, uh, Paris, it's now a worldwide thing. It has gone viral as it should, as it should. So I have been out at the protest. I was there the very, very first day, last Friday. I was not there on Saturday. My little sister, I commend her so much. My sister has been there every single day. She was there Saturday when shit got crazy. From what I, from what I know, only from what I know from my sources, um, it, it got ugly. The second day downtown it got very very ugly my sister witnessed a lot of things that are unjust which is the whole point of all of us protesting um so i was there friday i did not go saturday because i had things to do i was there on sunday i was there on tuesday was i there yesterday I didn't go yesterday, but I am going to the march today. There is going to be a march downtown today that I will be attending. I think that it's important for the people to come together on such a overlooked issue. Overlooked. It's been long overdue. Very, very long overdue. It's been it's been very very heavy. It's it's heavy to be a part of something like that just because emotions are high. Emotions are high. But I wouldn't not do it. I I grew up with too many black friends. I have too many black friends in general to not support something so needed. It's needed. So I wouldn't have it any other way. I would do it all over again. The times that I have gone have been very peaceful. So why it turns ugly, we know why. We know exactly why. Because the mayor of our city and who's in office orders <clears throat> people from National Guard and just the entire police department to come mess up something that is good and you can have your opinion about it you know if you are one of those people that are shunning the protesters that we're like this group of bad people that we're out here looting the fucking city and we're doing all this crazy shit i'm here to tell you that's false it ain't me doing it so it's, it's a specific group of people 
that are using the protest to do what they do and they do it very well and now we're discovering that not only not only our city specifically but there's hundreds of cities across the nation where police departments are purposely putting bricks out to make us look like we are animals that is not the case we are not the animals we're not i was gonna say something but you know what i'm not even gonna say it i'm not even gonna say it because it's just negative it's negative and i'm trying to stay away from of being negative in this situation because it's not what it's about it's about this movement is about black people getting justice this movement needs to be it needs to continue to be peaceful and if you have like a negative thought or a negative opinion about it about protesters even i really don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it because i know what i stand for i know what i'm about <clears throat> so if you have a negative opinion about it i really don't care I, I just that's all I have to say about that <laughs> but anyway off of that subject I have been discovering like I thought that I knew a lot of black businesses here in town but there was also a page created for black businesses and I was going through it last night and I'm like wow I did not know that that was black owned so today, running my errands, I'm going to make sure that I go to Health Hut today to go get my stuff that I need from him. And I might go check out some other places too. It, it, it's all about educating yourself. It's about educating yourself on who your community is, <clears throat> educating yourself on things that you don't know. And it's a beautiful thing. I think that beautiful things are aspiring from this movement. And it should be very, very important to you, especially if you're a person of color as well. Like, I'm getting a lot of backlash from a few Latinos and a few Mexicans. Like, well, you ain't going this hard for our people. What? Please don't come for me. Please don't come for me. Because anybody that knows me knows how near and dear... DACA recipients are to me. I mean, I have an immigrant father. My father is from Mexico. So to hear that from my own people just goes to show that racism comes in all colors and all forms. It's not even just white people that are racist. Clearly, clearly I have my own people backlashing at me because they say that I'm putting too much effort into something and I'm not even black. You ain't gotta be black to support something. That's just my personal opinion. Um, and why would I not support them? Why would I not? Black people and Mexicans are like, we at the bottom of the totem pole, bro. We ain't no better than black people right now. And that's because of who's in office has made it that way. So it kind of hurts my feelings that I'm getting that type of feedback from my own people because it's like, well, why aren't you standing up for it? You're pretty brown. You're pretty brown, my brother. You are brown. So I'm just confused at the fact that I'm getting that type of feedback because let's deal with this issue first, okay? By no means am I saying that they are more important than my own people, but why would you not support it? I'm just, I'm confused and it's just like, really, like your, your colors are showing a little bit. Like for you to say that to me just seems just so derogatory. Like I'm just confused and it's like, I don't understand why you can't come stand with us because when it's time for us to go rally up our people and do a protest to get our people out of these cages, don't be mad when you have fellow black people that don't want to support you because you weren't supporting them either. So I'm just confused at the fact that like, this should be a time for unity, blacks and brown people. I mean, and so it's just like, I've been dealing with that for like the last few days is I'm just really disappointed. I'm disappointed in some of my Mexican friends, like some of them, because it's like, 
really really we're gonna make this about us versus them right now when it should just be like a cohesive thing by the way i took my press-ons off and i did dipping powder yesterday so these are my natural nails um it's a dipping powder called bear it all i've had a lot of questions on snapchat about it so if you guys want me to do a manicure video i can do that as well i tend to do my own nails just because i'm very self-sufficient again i just can't fathom i can't fathom spending a hundred dollars getting your nails done i just i won't do it i will not do it i am not like many females out here that get her nails done and spend 45 dollars on makeup and i don't have the time give me money to go get clothes <laughs> clothes heels and shoes like that's it everything else i can do with myself i do my own eyebrows i just pluck my eyebrows i don't get my eyebrows waxed i'm all about self-sufficiency okay because look at what happened covid happened and then nobody was able to get nothing done. <laughs> your nails weren't getting done your eyebrows were looking like frida it's do it yourself learn how to do it yourself and save your queens girl save your coin okay um usually i do not fill my eyebrows in because again it's just one of those things that like i don't feel like it's necessary but since i'm going to be seeing so many people today and, and i am going to be out and about i will fill them in a little bit just a little bit hopefully i don't have mocos <laughs> I have hiccups too, so I'm sorry, y'all. I guess I should start checking to see if I have mocos before I start the video. <laughs> and this is just like an elf eyebrow. Again, you're not going to see like a bunch of expensive, like, I worked at Ulta, but girl, <laughs> no. The things that I spent my money on were like hair products bath stuff but not makeup man this video is already almost at 25 minutes And I've even had other people do my, like a professional makeup artist do my eyebrows. I don't like it. I don't, I don't know. I'm just weird. I'm not like your typical average woman. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm all about not catfishing people. <laughs> I'm all about not catfishing people like i want you to see me in person and be like oh you look just like your pictures <laughs> which i always get like the opposite people are like your pictures don't do you justice and i'm like mm -hmm. pretty sure i look the same in person as i do in pictures but then again that person is saying it from their perspective. You'll never know what you look like in somebody else's eyes. So for me, I'm just like, mm, okay. You're probably just gassing me right now, but okay. I have been trying to make it a pivotal point. <laughs> so my very, very first video that I uploaded. I say the word um so much. Y'all don't even know the amount of time time we deleted out of my first video because i was just said so many um so i'm trying to be consciously aware of myself not saying it but i've already heard myself say it so many times in this video that it's annoying <clears throat> i already don't like the way that i sound i don't like my voice but i don't think anybody does like i think the moment people hear themselves on a video they cringe it's just natural but I really, I really don't like the way that I sound. Other people are like, oh my God, I love your voice. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why? 
right now i'm very raspy <clears throat> i've been raspy like the last two days i've woken up but it's also because i've been at these protests so my voice box is tired she's tired okay mascara time this is like the magical part i love putting mascara on but i hate taking it off mascara is one of those things that for me more than eyeshadow more than foundation like mascara for me is it's just mascara transforms me personally because i just feel like it makes you look like a different person <clears throat> is on I think I'm about to put a little bit of eyeshadow on this bottom this bottom line <clears throat> real quick before I put mascara on my bottom lashes again I'm just using like my Morphe brushes and Morphe setting spray I'm going back into this palette and I'm gonna do this texting me right now i get so overwhelmed when i'm trying to get ready and people are like ding ding like ugh, y'all please if it ain't my mom it's my sister if it's not my sister it's somebody else like y'all please I should have put my phone on do not disturb before I started this video, but I should have did. <clears throat> oh, I have hiccups. <laughs> I think it's because I don't have any water. I'm dehydrated. I feel like it's not even showing up. I feel like we're wasting time right now. <laughs> I thought it was like in my head. I was like, oh, that'd be pretty. But girl, just wasting my time. <laughs> it's not even like, I feel like you can't even see it. <clears throat> it's just so light. But anyway. Yeah, let me put a little bit of concealer on my have you guys been seeing that like new little trick i think i seen that somebody like i said was like a cat eye like you put concealer over here instead of like the like directly underneath i don't know we about to find out <laughs> but i don't know what i'm doing i don't know i seen somebody do this like to put it to like make it look like that but I don't know <laughs> I don't like putting a lot of concealer underneath my eyes anyway just because it gets so cakey and then you can see all the wrinkles under my eyes I don't like that because 30 is creeping up 30 July 31st and I say this in the most humble way but COVID ruined so many things for so many people and I don't say that <clears throat> and you know not thinking about the victims that have been lost during COVID rest in peace to many people that have lost their lives so I don't say that in a shallow way but 
I am 30 this year and it was supposed to be big, okay? I had tickets to Paris and Paris has been canceled. They refunded me my ticket and everything else just because after Italy shut down, <clears throat> I mean, Europe, I mean, just the whole entire continent of Europe pretty much just said, well, <laughs> we're shutting our borders down. So uh, here's your money back. So I'm kind of sad. And then I was thinking, okay, well, then we can just travel inside the city or inside the country. <laughs> but now, <laughs> now everybody's rioting. So cities are just tore the fuck up right now. So I can't even go to Chicago if I wanted to right now. Uh, and you know, apparently the blacks and browns are fighting each other over there. And it's like, y'all. Get it together. Unite. Unite. Blacks and browns. If this is if like I don't get it. I don't get it. Like now is the time more than ever for blacks and browns to unite. I I I don't understand. I'll never understand it, but whatever. It's all about something. Something we it's something we will never understand because it's deeper than that. So yeah, now I'm at a standpoint. So it's like, well, can't travel to Chicago, can't go to Vegas. I don't even think Vegas has opened up yet. I think they open up today, June 4th. Is today June 4th? Girl, I don't even know what day it is since I'm in quarantine. I never know like anything anymore. Um, can't do nothing. I can go to Florida. The beaches are open, but... I don't think anything is open and then it's then you like you fight with yourself like do i even want to travel though because it's like yeah okay the mayors have opened up the outside to the world but not because it's safe but because it's hurting them economically so it's like do i even want to go anywhere because ugh, still not safe to be out and about just saying so that's like something that I'm, I'm like arguing with myself right now. Like, yeah, you're 30 this year. Yeah, we were supposed to do it big, but due to unforeseen circumstances right now, hmm, probably not gonna happen. It's, it's debatable. Like there's just so many debates in my head that I just can't wrap my head around. Um, okay, so this, this is my look. Oh, wow. Like you almost look like a human being um so i am going to get dressed i will come back and let you guys see the outfit of the day i don't know if i want to do my hair on here because like it's already at 43 minutes and i really did not want this video to be like super super long okay y'all i am back i'm halfway dressed i have my pants on i do have a tube top on so i'm not naked okay but i don't want to put my shirt on quite yet because i'm about to do my hair <clears throat> I'm going to try to do this on camera. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll see. Okay, y'all, here is the outfit of the day. So I couldn't figure out if I wanted to wear these or these ones. I like really don't know. Cause they both look cute. But like, I'm just so in love with these. I got these from Express when I went to Mexico back in March. And I just fell in love with them. So now I don't know which ones wear but this is the outfit of the day i just took like a a plain button-up shirt i tied it right here with some high-waist shorts this shirt is from h&m and i got these shorts when i left for mexico back in march as well from tilly's they're high-waisted and girl be covering up all the rolls <laughs> 
So as soon as I figure out what shoes I'm gonna wear today, these ones um, are from Target. The brown ones are from Target. These ones are from Express. So this is what I put together. But anyway, yes, so this is the outfit of the day. I'm gonna wear shirts like this, just a plain button down, whatever. And I will see you guys in my next video.